My name is Maina Wamboi and I am a husband and I'm also the director of an organization called Salt Factory Sports Kenya. My name is Belinda, I am his wife and uh, I serve with him. I also work in the private sector. We had just gotten married, we're living in different countries, we come together and then we have some friends from who go to another church and they told us about it. And we thought, what do you mean? What is first fruits? And then they said, oh yeah. And then for some reason we didn't really ask ourselves, at that time we didn't ask questions like, so what will we eat and all these things. We did not lack. Like, co then COVID happened, imagine. COVID happened after what? After two months, after we've given our first fruits and we're thinking, okay, maybe we'll come up with some ideas to make money, COVID happens. But by 2020, what had happened was in 2020, I got an, a traineeship that gave me an, a stipend as well. And I had just started. So what that meant is you have a second income, but that new income that came also has to go immediately. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, so we came for that the gathering, is, yeah. and, and, and Pastor M, you know, talked about free the future. And one of the things that he said is that we want you guys to give equivalent of one month salary. Uh, and so Belinda and I sat there, and, and, and Belinda was we weren't sitting together. We're at actually that point. sitting at different points of the of, of this tent. Like you're sitting at the front. Yes, and you were sitting <laughs> and as usual, I sit at the very back. <laughs> yeah. And and, and we, we, when 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 it was over, when people were just about to leave and were giving the pledge cards, you know, we just asked ourselves. No, we said actually, you go, think about what God is saying, and then I will also think about a figure that God is saying, and then we'll come together and decide, you know, hear what God is saying, and then do that. And, and when we came together, funny enough, so we, we had written down, like we wrote them down. So we, we both had notebooks and we had written down a figure. And then we just exchanged <laughs> without saying, because <laughs> yeah. we're like, let's see, maybe go, maybe I was just some, it's, the devil was just tempting me. Yeah. And, uh, and this figure was exactly over, the same. It was the same, but over and above our, our, income. our combined income. Our combined income. It was over and above our combined income. Yeah. And we're like, okay, this has to be God because if it was us, we'd be very, you know, because we're told to give our income, not yes. over and above. It was okay. our income. Yeah. And so we decided, you know what, this is God, and we're gonna jump into it. But That's something happened. Mm -hmm. So a week was it a week? That, that very week after yeah, the yeah, gathering. The, the, the same. I mean, the next week after the yeah, gathering. Yeah. Something happened. Yeah. So so I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm talking to my friend. Uh, we're, we're having like a, 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 a WhatsApp call and I'm talking to him. We're talking, uh, we're not talking about money, we're not talking about anything. Yeah, and this and friend, you know, his dad is there. His dad was just sitting there just in sitting the room. There in the room, you know, and then his dad tells this guy, uh, tell him, I hear God telling me to, to give, give him, him a specific amount. A speci he gave me a specific amount and that amount was, exact, was exactly the exact what amount we needed that was above our, above our, our income, income for us to, on our to, pledge. to fulfill our yeah. pledge of what we had made. And so it's just been amazing how God has been taking care of us. Yeah. And maybe we can share a couple of things that God has done. Like, like, like Belinda shared, when she moved into Kenya, she quit her job to come into Kenya after I convinced her and married her. <laughs> <laughs> she decided to come to Kenya. And when she came into Kenya, she was not working. I was yeah. depending on stipends. Yeah. And so what I did is I used to, you know, have families. Oh, and I had no savings. Yeah, no savings at all. <laughs> <laughs> and so I had a couple of families that were, who, no, were actually, supporting one, one specific one family. that was supporting you. The, yes. Yeah. One, and then so were like, they were trying to, so they were trying to help us and they were supporting us. And, and this this year so after that pledge and all this year what happened is that family called and said oh we hear this is happening we're just, we thinking about, yeah, we're just thinking about you guys and would like this year would like to double our pledge to for the whole year us. the support we've been giving you they had already sent it and then they decided we are going to send the exact um, like the same to amount double it just double and I never wrote them an email and be like, oh, things are tough, right? Now. Never. Nothing. Never did anything like that. Actually, we thought the, the support had stopped. <laughs> yeah. And then another one is yeah. Belinda comes into the country, there are no jobs. Uh, and and people, everyone was calling me crazy. Like, know, like how, how are you, you moving a job? from a land and a good of job. opportunities? How do you leave a good job? Yes, a permanent to, contract. I know, and going to a, to a country place where, where everyone is struggling. Yeah. And, 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 and the funniest 2021, thing, I got a job that <laughs> I don't even like. I don't even remember how I got it, but I got a job. And then just a week after I got it, someone calls me with two job offers, like two, two options yep. of a dream job <laughs> and say, hey, so uh, I'm quitting my job and they asked me to recommend someone. I'm Are you still looking? You. Because I would like to recommend you. And I'm like, uh, actually, I just had a new job. They're like, oh, and then a friend of mine uh, also told me about a job that they, they need a communications person at their workplace. 
I think there's something that we keep saying. Yeah. God can afford God you. can afford me. God can afford you. Because he has. He has afforded yeah. us. We've and he can never, afford you. <laughs> even at one single. We've actually been more generous in yes. our lives. We've given more. We are challenging ourselves every day to give more. We so, realized we've so far actually just this this month we've given five times what we gave last month. Just in this month. Yeah. And that is all because of God. And so if you're there and considering and you have all these worries, wanna tell you, you know what? God can afford you. Yeah. 